So thou wilt woo, but else not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayest think my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess, but that thou overheardest ere I was ware, my true love's passion, therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love which the dark night hath so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I swear that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love, well, do not swear, although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning, which doth cease to be, ere one can say it lightens. Sweet good night, this bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night, good night, as sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have to night? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank, and give it thee again, and yet I wish, but for the thing I have, my bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Nurse calls within. I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little. I will come again. Exit above. Oh, blessed, blessed night. I am afeard. Being in night, all this is but a dream. Too flattering sweet to be substantial. Re-enter Juliet above. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word to-morrow, by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the right. And all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Within. Madam! I come anon! But... If thou meanest not well, I do beseech thee. Within, Madam! By and by I come! To cease thy suit, and leave me to my grief, to-morrow will I send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times good night. Exit above. A thousand times the worse, to want thy light. Love goes toward love as schoolboys from their books, but love from love toward school with heavy looks. Retiring. Re-enter Juliet above. Hist! Romeo, hist! Oh, for a falconer's voice to lure this tasseled gentle back again. Bondage is hoarse and may not speak aloud. Else would I tear the cave where Echo lies, and make her airy tongue more hoarse than mine, with repetition of my Romeo's name. It is my soul that calls upon my name. How silver sweet sounds lovers' tongues by night, like softest music to attending ears. Romeo, my dear, at what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? At the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget, forgetting any other home but this. 
"'Tis almost morning. I would have thee gone, and yet no further than a wanton bird, who lets it hop a little from her hand, like a poor prisoner in his twisted jives, and with a silk thread plucks it back again, so loving jealous of his liberty. I would I were thy bird. Sweet, so would I, yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow, that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Exit above. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. Hence will I to my ghostly father's cell, his help to crave, and my dear hap to tell. Exit. End of Act Two, Scene Two. Read by Lorraine Montgomery for Lit to Go on the Web at fcit.usf.edu.